Hello everyone, this is Abena. I'm so very happy to be participating in this wash and go tag um, that I was tagged from watching the video by Elle at Quest for the Perfect Curl. And so today what I want to share with you is uh, my responses to the questions regarding my wash and go. And the first question happens to be, what is your holy grail styler? My holy grail styler for the past year has been uh, Echo Styler Gel Crystal Maximum Hold Number 10. I've been using this now for about a year. Prior to that, I was using um, Hair Rolls Curly Whip, which is a softer holding um, finisher styler. It gives a beautiful curl as well. Uh, with Echo Styler, why I switched to it is because it, it gives me um, a hairstyle with more length and I was actually able to get more separation without having to use heat styling. What is your holy grail moisturizer underneath your styler? For me, it happens to be H2O. Moisture comes from water, so any other product that we use is going to need to be water-based in order for it to be a moisturizer. So I use soaking wet hair as my moisturizer and then I seal that in or at least try to hold that in with my leave-in conditioner, which happens to be Shea Moisture, Shea Butter Leave-In with jojoba oil and vitamin E. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I've been using it for about five months. It's definitely a staple. Do I apply the product in sections? Absolutely. Applying product in sections allows you more control, more, um, you, when you're applying the product, you're able to make sure that you're getting product completely on most, most of your hair strand. And you really wanna saturate it and make sure it's getting completely through so that you do have complete coverage. It wears better and you have more definition of your curl. One more thing about applying uh, the product in sections, which is critical for me because I have a section of hair that is low porosity. Um, I absolutely have to handle this, this section of hair differently from the other sections of my hair. So that's why I do five sections so I can isolate this section in particular in two parts uh, to better manage getting the moisture in and sealing it. Do I rake or smooth or shingle? I do a combination of rake and smooth. So with the raking, what I do is I, I, I pull down gently, never pulling my hair too harsh. Uh, and then when I meet the resistance of the tangle, I will lift my fingers out and circle back down to the bottom. And that's when I start to smooth down. So I'm actually removing tangles and smoothing, and that's getting good coverage of the product. How long do your wash and goes typically last? Mine tend to last for seven days. I can stretch it comfortably to nine days. I don't like to because I don't like to have um, dirty scalp. But yes, my hair tends to wear well up to nine days, but typically seven days. How do you preserve your wash and go? I preserve my wash and go by wrapping my hair up at night in a silk scarf into a variation of the pineapple, which looks like this. So I make sure I have my hair completely up in the scarf. I don't use a scrunchie. And then I just um, tie it in the back. And whenever I do this on camera, it takes 15 minutes to do, <laughs> as opposed to 10 seconds. Um, and I have it completely tied, very easy. The hair on the top just spills out, and because I sleep on this side, as long as I wrap it so that the hair is more so pushed to this side, I can sleep comfortably and not have to worry about um, these uh, ends getting disturbed or you know smashed in any way. And that's what I do when I take it out of the scarf. Just pull it without, without pulling through the curls, just gently tugging at them just to get them to come, come downward instead of being up anymore. Okay, next question. Do I get tangles or single strand knots um, with my wash and go? Yes. 
and I notice I get more tangles or more knots when I'm handling my hair more and what I mean by that say for example a couple weeks ago I was out at a um, picnic and when I was laying my head down on the sheet which normally when I'm laying down I have my hair you know protected with a silk scarf um, I didn't have that so I feel like whenever my hair is making more contact with anything else other than my silk scarf I am going to experience more um, more tangles does the climate affect how or when I will wear a wash and go um, actually the climate is going to impact my wash and go but it doesn't determine whether or not I'm going to wear one because I wear wash and go all the time it's rare that I would wear a different hairstyle so with regard to when I wash my hair and go that would be the deciding factor if it's just too cold outside and I don't have time to give myself at least an hour of air dry then I may put off washing my hair for another day now what do I use to seal the moisture and does this help to decrease the crunch I honestly believe the echo styler seals my hair very well I recently started using coconut oil just to test it out and see if my hair looked or felt better and I used it in between my leave-in conditioner and my gel and then on this wash and go I switched it around I put it on last so I do believe oil can can um, effectively seal the moisture in I don't particularly care for for my hair so I'm going to be removing oil almost all together uh, I'm going to take a look at this at the end of seven days and see how I like the argan oil and I may just remove it all together um, as far as um, a sealant and as far as her shine now the the gel cast honestly I love the gel cast I love the fact that it you know keeps the, the curl definition keeps the hair from getting frizzed and the fact that it's hard doesn't bother me because no one else is touching my hair you know unnecessarily so it doesn't bother me um, I like movement so even with the cast I have movement today I don't have any cast today is day three but in addition to that I've been using a held a handheld steamer um, because what I notice is that I get such I get so much moisture into my hair with the technique that I use and then with the echo style it really seals it in and then when I stretch it which is I'm been trying to you know just have more length to my hair so I've started using this new stretching technique which I'm happy to share with you and when I take my hair out of the stretch it just looks so flat that I started using the handheld steamer to get a little bit of body so when I did that it the cast just melts away <laughs> and welcome to a little bit of frizz so I may make some adjustments um, because I don't like frizz but I love the length I just gotta find my nice balance which is what I've been doing with wash and go for the past two and a half years if I change something make a little bit of adjustment then I may need to make another adjustment to go with it but bit by bit gradually by gradually I will make subtle changes and see what I like more what I can do without and so forth so um, this is still a work in progress because I'm getting more length now so do you style your hair on soaking wet hair or damp hair my hair is soaking wet when I do my wash and go I actually do in the shower literally um, wash everything and then put the finishing touches on it while I'm still in the shower hair soaking wet to lock in as much moisture as possible what advice would you give someone who is newly natural doing a wash and go I would give you four pieces of advice number one with your wash and go it's completely yours it's not going to look like anyone else's it's, it's just literally your hair uh, curl pattern defined so you will, you don't want to compare your hair to someone else's you want to learn how to do the technique learn what products work best for defining your curl and the type of hold that you want because you can have different holds you can have a nice you know big hair with a softer hold gel I find or if you want to elongate your curls stretch your curls I find that the stronger holding gel works best for me in particular also um, 
Number two, what I would recommend is starting off with a softer hold gel because you want to get accustomed to the technique. I started out myself with a very soft um, finisher, which was the Hair Rolls Curly Whip. I was able to get my technique down. I knew what I was doing. So by the time I started using Echo Styler, the Stronghold Gel, I wasn't ripping through my hair. If I just started out with that, I probably would have, would have thought, I will never use gel in my hair ever. So get the technique down, get accustomed to it. And if you choose to go to a stronger holding gel for the fact that it gives you um, more curl definition or elongates your curl, um, then know that it is going to feel differently on your hair. So you wanna be more gentle with it, but use the techniques that you've grown accustomed to using. Number three, when your hair is drying in the wash and go, the, the curls are not set yet, so they can easily be disturbed if you, if you pull on them, if you start to um, touch them, it can cause or increase you know, the chances of frizzing, which is going to decrease the length of time you can wear your hair with a nice curl definition. Also, if you were to go outside and your hair has not, the curls have not set yet, you stand a chance of the wind, if it's a windy day, you stand a chance of your hair you know, losing definition because the curls are not set yet. So just be mindful of that when you do your hair to, you know, if it's not set, you may not want to go out on a windy day. And then the final piece of advice would be air drying. Um, I find that you retain more moisture when you air dry. If you were to use heat styling, it is helpful for giving you an immediate style. But I noticed that the hairstyle doesn't last as long without getting um, worn out or frizzy because of the heat styling. So those are two things to take into consideration if you want to wear your hair longer in the style without frizz. You may want to forego the heat styling and just allow it to air dry to retain as much moisture and curl definition as possible. Now in order to get the most out of air drying, I encourage you to start early in the daytime. I start as early as I possibly can so that I have the most part of the day to allow the hair to air dry so I can retain as much moisture as possible. So with that said, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Tag your it, now it's your turn to share with us what you do when you, how you do your wash and go, what your holy grail, you know, um, stylers and moisturizers are and, and how you're coming along. So I look forward to hearing from you and I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great time doing your wash and go.